The last time this lady graced our presence, all kind of strange things began to happen. Chairs moved on their own. <laughs> this music began to play. Who knows what could happen today because the creepy doll is back. Do, do, do. There she is. The creepy doll is no, back. No, that's Yvette Fielding, darling. That's Yvette Fielding. Yeah. <laughs> now, so the doll, after we saw her last, she was bought for over £800, I might add. Uh, but she seems she's been up to her old tricks again. Uh, so, as you can see, we have Ghost Hunter, Yvette Fielding here, and also joining us, a psychic who's been working with the doll, and that is Deborah Davis. So, Deborah, you didn't buy the doll. Lee Steer bought the doll. That's right. And he buys mm -hmm. haunted things. That's his kind of hobby, or allegedly haunted things. Uh, yeah. It is. Um, and he believes that things did start to happen in his house, so he got in touch with you. So he what did. was happening when he got the doll? He sent me some footage of uh, what was happening at home for him, and it was quite incredible, to be honest. Um, I could see in one piece of footage there was a picture <laughs> moving quite a lot on the, wall. on the wall. Yeah, the doll was sat opposite. There was um, another picture where the, the frame was being broken off. You can hear it, you can see it. His, his father was scratched. Um, there was now all the sorts. scratching, the, the lady who bought the doll in here originally, who bought yeah. it, she said her husband was scratched on his arms and legs. Yeah, she did, didn't she? So yeah. do you believe that this doll has done that? Uh, yes, I do, because I've been scratched over the past week or eight days that I've had the doll Where? on my arm. Um, and a friend that is that it still the, the scratch is still there no i have got photographs of it somewhere well, we, we but, look um, at your we look at your picture yeah, again here just yeah. in case case someone thinks this is your thigh or something no that's your <laughs> that's your arm there there's, um, there's, there's no there's that's that's lee's dad Oh, that's Lee's that's dad. That's Lee's dad's arm. <laughs> yes, we're looking for a female arm with scratches on yeah, it. Yeah, that's Lee's right. dad. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Lee asked me, would I have the doll? Would I give him my opinion about what's going on with this doll? To be honest, when I picked it up, I thought, uh, I don't right. think it's that scary. So you've been doing a Vulcan mind mould, whatever, with the doll here. What are you reading? What are you discovering? What is in that doll? OK. The, the first thing that I got with this doll, it's almost like flashes of images that, that come to me um, that show um, a person or a word or, you know, it, this was a little girl. So the first thing that I had with this doll is a little girl that maybe, passed. Maybe the owner of the doll? Um, I don't know is mm -hmm. the honest answer mm -hmm. to that one. The, the next thing I felt was quite a maternal presence, so mum. Um, of the little girl, that the little girl passed first. I feel as though that little girl actually had her life taken from her, to be honest with you. And that the, the mum, uh, when she had passed... Had her life taken from her as was killed yeah, by, by yeah. somebody. Yeah. And the, the, the nasty part of the doll is kind of a male energy that seems to come and go. And I feel that that's the person that was responsible for, for taking the life of the little girl. So why now, is Yvette, the from your point of view, you're here, Yvette's here today because she's going to be uh, taking the phone in uh, and the subject is, we want to know from you, have you been haunted? What is haunting you? Number there on the screen. Um, Yvette, in your experience, have you come across anything like this before in your ghost hunting experience? No, we've had, um, we've had um, haunted and cursed chairs and we've, you know, will you sit on the chair? And a lot of people say, no, I don't want to push my luck. I'm not going to sit on that. But in this case, um, what we could be having here is what you're picking up on is psychometry, which is where yeah. you take an object and you're actually picking you up on it. feelings mm -hmm. of, of, you, you know, of, of an object, mm -hmm. uh, people that owned it. It's not necessarily haunted. Um, I would personally um, like to take this doll and I would like, with um, your producer's uh, assistance, um, to run experiments on it. I'd like to film it constantly, live stream it. I'd like to put it in, lock it off in a room where only the producer of This Morning knows of, that I know of. I'm prepared to sit with it for an hour every night on my own and see if anything happens. Are you happens. spooked by the doll? Not at all. And I don't think that it is haunted. I think that, with really? all due respect, yeah. I think you're picking up on psychometry, which is a, you know, has been scientifically 
proven. How would you explain the scratching? Lee says he was scratched. It's, the previous um, owner said her husband was scratched. You've said you were scratched. Yeah, it's not just the scratching. It's since this doll appeared in the house, my husband's wedding ring vanished, disappeared completely from where it would normally be. My earrings, weirdly enough, that, that were given to me by my husband on my wedding day. Could you not vanished. just have mislaid his wedding ring? I think what Good. happens is, is, is you, anything, that, anything bad or anything like that that happens, mm. you kind of put yeah. it with the doll. And I think I it can might understand be where you're coming from. Well, look, and we'll leave the three of you to discuss that as yeah. to what's going to happen next. Deborah, thank you very much indeed, Andy. <laughs> thank Beth. you.